Hello! Welcome to the Laundry Room. First tutorial of 2021. Uh, we're on our first website using REPL.IT and W3Schools.com. These are the websites that we're going to be using to create more websites. How about that? So, um, first thing I'm going to do is I, I've got REPL.IT open over here. Um, I'm going to set up the project and then um, along the way, as I make the project, I'm going to be looking up things in W3Schools to learn how to do them. So, in REPL, you make a project by clicking the plus button, the blue button in the top right. Uh, we're looking for HTML, CSS, JavaScript. You can type that in to auto-complete it or scroll down to find it. We're going to use the random name. Um, once we start making actual projects that we're turning in, um, not practice ones, uh, then please name your projects so I can identify them and you can identify them. Then I'm going to hit create REPL. And then it's going to spit out all this stuff for us. How very nice of it. Uh, let's go ahead and click on settings on the left um, and adjust some of these settings. So uh, I'm going to stack them and change the font size just so you can see them a little better. We don't need the console for a while. Um, and yeah, that should be good. Um, go back to files here. This is a list of all the files in our website. We've got index.html, script.js, style.css. Um, for now, we're just going to be messing with index.html. But if you ever need to access another file, this is how you do it. You click on it. Okay. So, um, if you haven't watched the video about what these things are, um, HTML, CSS, JavaScript, go ahead and watch it first. We'll be focusing on HTML with a little bit of CSS thrown along the way. Um, so let's go ahead and read up about HTML and what the heck it does. So, in W3Schools, you can log in. I'm already logged in here. Um, and it keeps track of what tutorials you've done, what exercises you've done. Um, we'll have tutorials and exercises that go along with the projects, so they will be relevant to what we're doing. Um, HTML Home, it's just like, hey, this is how you use the site. Um, you can use our little try-it-yourself editor. You can look at examples. You can practice with exercises. Let's move on to the introduction. Uh, take some time to read this. Um, pause the video. Go read it. Um, or you can look at it here. Uh, the link to this page is also on Canvas. HTML introduction. Uh, basically, all you need to know is HTML mix defines the content for our page. And this is what a simple document looks like. It's like a little skeleton that's given to us. Um, REPL uh, gives us this skeleton for free. Every good skeleton has a head and a body. Everybody knows that. Um, otherwise, the paleontologist will probably reject it. Anyway, um, blah, 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 blah. These are the little parts of it. Uh, we're going to be messing with the body today. Uh, the body is where the content of a website goes. And we're going to first add some headings and paragraph HTML elements. So a heading, h1, looks like this. It's got an opening tag. This is an opening tag and a closing tag. Um, the tags are made with little angle brackets. You can get those by doing shift comma and shift period. And then the closing tag has a slash. That's the only difference. Um, what these are for is it says, this is where my heading starts, and this is where my heading ends. So any text inside of here is going to belong in my heading. Let's run it. Boom, there's my heading. Now if I make a paragraph, uh, here are some words I like. Uh, I like the word guava. I like the word chartreuse. Um, spelling is very important. Um, if you spell some of your code wrong, it might break. Let me just Google this to make sure I spelled it wrong, right? Yeah, we're good to go. Those words are fun to say. Uh, anyway, uh, this one, BR. What does BR do? Let's go ahead and hit this. Let's add a BR inside of here and see what it does. Oh, look, it adds a line break. It's a line break tag. How about that? 
I'm gonna go ahead and remove that little BR tag. Okay, let's go back to our uh, page and make sure we're hitting the requirements for our project. So we've included in some text. We need to include a link and an image. Oh, look, it says to visit the HTML basic tutorial. How about that? There's likely going to be a tutorial associated with the things you need to do in your project. You can either look things up yourself and you Google it, you see how other people have done things, or you can go to the site and just look for it here, use the search bar, whatever. Um, yeah, HTML basic, let's do this. So yep, we're putting stuff in the body. We'll go into this um, more in depth next week. For now, we're just putting things in the body. Let's go ahead and make an HTML link. Um, so I could copy and paste this, but um, w when we type it out, we learn it a little bit better. That's because you have to look at each individual part of the code. Um, so you're not just like glancing over it. You're actually looking at each piece and seeing what the parts are. Uh, once you understand the parts, then by all means, copy and paste things. Um, but don't copy and paste code that you don't understand ever. So uh, let's make an A tag. This A tag has a little attribute. Attribute's a little detail that goes along with it. It looks like that's the website we're linking to. So let's go ahead and add an href. I'm going to link to ESPN.com, a website where I spend far too much time. And then I'm going to put in the content text right there. That's the text that's actually going to show up on my link. Let's see if it works. Cool. We made it to ESPN. All right, last thing. Let's add a HTML image. So I'm going to add image tag, IMG, source. Um, that's the source of our image. Let's go find an image. I'm going to find one of the Utah Jazz, who played terribly last night, thanks to... Kyrie Irving deciding not to miss a shot and us playing bad defense. Playing the Knicks tonight. Hopefully it goes a little better. You will be watching this in the future, so you will know how that game goes. Lucky for you. So when you find an image, you click on it. Um, and then you can right-click on the image. The options might not show up on the recording here. But there's an option that says copy image address. Not copy image, we want the set one that says copy image address. Um, and then you can paste that in there. The image address is going to end in .jpg, .png, an image type. Um, and let's keep going. Next attribute we got to put in is alternative text. This describes the image for when the image doesn't load or people need the page read to them. Uh, then we've got width. And height. We actually only need to include one of these, so I'll just include the width, um, and I'll specify pixels for my unit. You don't have to say pixels, but I like to. Cool, there's my little image. I've got a link, I've got an image, I've got some text. Man, the possibilities are endless now. I'm going to put a period at the end of this sentence because it's bugging me. Uh, yeah, so take some time and practice these things. Um, you can even put a BR tag after this A tag to make the image go on the next line. Um, try linking to websites. Try uh, finding other images and including them. Um, try adding more paragraph tags, different heading sizes, um, H1, H2, H3. goes all the way to H6. See what the different sizes are. Um, have fun. Um, don't need to turn anything in for this project. Um, in the future, there will be a place to submit. There will be a thing that says submit assignment um, when you do need to submit these projects. But yeah, email me with questions. Have a great day.